Okay, back again with the 18650 spot welder that I started so long ago. Anyway, not so long ago I done a 3D printed case for the screen and electronics. Um, it's got a removable part, so that bolts on to the ammo box with four bolt holes, which will go on the cable side, which is over here. It'll bolt up there, headbutt the camera make it go wobbly so that bolt up there this then slots in as you saw and there's a few screw holes that I can put down there to hold the whole thing in and get to electronics easily should I need to do so so we'll power it up it powers up it says what it is um, and then up here we've got the spot timer and this is a hundred milliseconds it's set to by default but you can press the up button and it'll start putting that time up or the down button and it'll start putting that time down we've got middle button which is enter and that starts that timer going and then tells you it's turned off um, it does also say it's turned on but because it's obviously a quick amount of time it doesn't show up on the screen anyway so as soon as that time is started and you press that button um, one of these outputs goes high which you can then link to a solid state relay, which is what I'm going to do, which is what's in my box already down here. Um, I'll put more info about that next time, but this is to get those people that want to do it quickly up and running. So I shall put the STL file for the case that I've done onto uh, the links down below. I'll put the firmware for the Arduino Uno on the links below also. Uh, and that should get most people up and running. Uh, I'll do a parts list as well. So my hand's been turned and I need to get the spot welder working quicker than what I thought because I need to build some more battery banks. Uh, so this is a design I'm working on at the moment to make it a bit easier for me. Chinese uh, 4x5 uh, cell holder, 18650 cell holders. Um, I've designed this one. So it clips into the bottom. And the idea is that I run nickel strip up through these holes at the top, so four strips up, uh, four strips of cells, uh, and then a little buzz bar along here. The idea here is that uh, I can bolt this together, so I put M4 bolt um, nut holes in here. I only use four, but I had the time and space to put the rest in, so I put them as well. Um, so it clamps them together. Nickel strips come up there, join together. XT90 I was thinking there to go into the main buzz bar system, into the, the wall, the power wall. Um, again down here these will be individually fused onto strips uh, that come out here and that XT90. Um, so that's it, a very quick video update. Um, I shall get, as I say, the links to the firmware, the STL, everything on the site and I will at some point very soon make this look pretty and I'll show you a video of it all working and um, at a later point I'll update the firmware so that it stores whatever last setting was into the EEPROM so it comes up straight away with your last known time setting uh, and I shall also do a nice handle thing for the actual spot welder so it's got a button on it so you can tap it on press the button it spot welds and then you've got a free hand as you're going along that sort of jazz um, maybe inverse foot switching but i don't know anyway that's that the files are out there with you uh use them don't use them uh reinvent them by all means let me know how you get on uh but in the meantime have fun be safe and go build something <laughs>